Join me as I attend the photography show 2022 and end up in an on-foot chase for some reason. Forever the enthusiast for a 4 a.m. start. Look at me. This is actually my first flight post-Covid. Airports were never especially great places to travel through, and I can report that nothing has changed. Entire groups of people walking about as slow as you'd expect them to in a museum. I know that getting to the gate isn't going to make the plane take off sooner, but come on. Shh. A moment of quiet, please. This is a mark of respect. On arrival, we got our orders. They were pretty much, build a shop. 22. Not a problem. One of the highlights of working this event was putting faces to the names I'd only ever seen at the end of emails, with a special guest appearance from Johnny Bravo. I'll tell you what, just how fast it all came together was impressive. I opted to keep things simple by bringing one camera with two lenses, a 15mm super wide in case I felt a little freaky, and a Voigtlander Nocton 35 1.4. I normally pair the Biogon 35 with AM11, but I was curious to see how the Voigtlander looked with a frankly excessive 60 megapixels. And the answer is pretty well, actually. But I do think my lens needs a service, because wide open it was weirdly soft. Stopping down to 2.8 was way more consistent. Excellent view. <laughs> Going up, 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 up. After an unreasonably long day, it was time to go back to the hotel and go out for some food, and then finally sleep. I say sleep, really I mean lay there, being massaged from the base of the nearby club. Showtime. <laughs> So, my role was part X, doing inspections on trading goods, tucked away like some manky gremlin in a little cupboard behind the scenes. I'm not really complaining though, we had a seat, biscuits and a cooling fan. Dizzy in heights, I was pretty much the 1% at that point. I occasionally got a chance to step out and check out more of the show, battle my way through the diverse crowd of older white males and check out some of the other stalls. Highlight was Flint's. They have a beautiful range of incredibly fancy cameras up for auction. Now, Chrome Hasselblad will always have my heart. I was never a fan of the gold version until I saw it in person, and it is very nice. And while there, I learned there's actually three types of Leica user. The first, we'll spend thousands purely for a red dot for clout. The second, we'll spend more to pretend the red dot is distracting while really saying, this camera is more expensive. And now the third, Take all my money, no amount of branding is too much. get some party photos from the evenings. However, I was mostly too tired to stay up drinking and the one night I was proper up for it, there wasn't a nightclub near enough that was open. We drank at the hotel bar until the wee hours. Not one to miss breakfast. I got up at 8am to eat my film and then went straight back to bed. I surfaced properly around lunch, which was the Queen's funeral. I grabbed my camera and headed to visit a couple of friends in Coventry. I took the train and admired the vast views on the way. Beautiful. I'd never considered what it would be like eating oneself completely hungover out of a moving car on a roundabout into traffic due to the appearance of a frantic lost dog hurtling across the roads and down the streets in a mad panic. But here we are. Life is but a series of tests and experiences. Aside from nearly running me over, Sarah did a much better job at keeping up than me. I really don't know why I was veering into the middle of the road at this point. 
Maybe I was just hoping for heavy traffic to put me out of my misery. Thankfully the dog didn't come to any harm and my lungs didn't quite explode. Thanks guys though. <laughs> and well, that was it really. The last day involved a small incident with a knife in the airport, which I won't get into on here, and also a flight delay which almost pushed Michael and myself over the edge. See you next year.